Now, oftentimes you're designing a header like this in Photoshop, you're gonna have a photo that you wanna place text on top of, but when you add the text, it just blends in way too much. Your options usually are reduce the contrast of the background image or maybe blur the background image. But one of my favorite things and one thing that you're going to see online a lot is simply darkening the background image by adding a color overlay. I've got this header image container. I'm going to duplicate that. It's just a shape layer. See, it's a one big solid color. I'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail because it's a shape layer. I can just fill it with the color black, right? Double clicking on the thumbnail allows me to change that color. Now I'm just going to reduce the opacity to something like, I don't know, 65, 70%, something like that. 69%. There we go. Good enough for me. Add the text. Boom. You can still see the image beneath it. And now it fits in the context of the rest of the website beautifully with our big bunch of type. We would probably want to add some kind of button, you know, whatever. But by adding this layer of black and reducing the opacity of that, you preserve some of the contrast and things like that of the image beneath without just blurring the living daylights out of it. And you still allow your type to shine the way that the type needs to shine. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.